Bugless Outdoor Lighting. Hey, summer's here, and you know what that means. Bugs. Here you see two lighting fixtures with similar light output. One has 100 watt halogen, and the other 10 watts of LED. It's pretty easy to see here that the halogen is attracting a lot more bugs. About 80%. And the reason why is LEDs do not produce ultraviolet light, which is a great bug attractant. Inside our demonstration fixtures are three types of LEDs. In the other test fixture, there is a 100 watt halogen. Okay, now we're going to talk about why we have three different kinds of LEDs and why this works. Let's start here with a direct comparison of a CFL to an LED bulb. We're going to take a look at both of these, a side by side comparison, in a fixture outside. Try and guess which one's which. We just changed it out. Can you tell which was which? Probably not. This one's the CFL. And it shows no greater brightness than the next, which is the LED. The LED uses 10 times less energy and attracts no bugs. Okay, we're going to do it with a different color. This time green. CFL versus LED comparison. Can you tell which is which? Well, this one's obviously brighter. And it's the CFL version which is going to attract just as many bugs as a halogen or incandescent and use 10 times more energy. The bugless LED version is going to be far superior because we're not getting true white light. CFL and incandescent bug lights are coated to reduce the ultraviolet emission. This blocks light. This was especially true when we compared our red CFL to our red LED. Red coating on the CFL was thicker, blocking more light. And this is why LED bulbs are best for bugless applications. There's no light blocking colors, true white light for greater brightness. And no better example than these little 1.5 watt bulbs. Let's take a look and see what's inside. There's only one chip. And used in the right situation, they can replace perhaps even a 50-watt incandescent or halogen yellow bulb. But the 1.5 watts doesn't matter much anymore nowadays because you have all sorts of other options. Like this one here. This one's 2.5 watts. This one's about 4 watts. That's 7 watts and that's 5 watts. All for a variety of different purposes. Let's take a look inside and see what's going on here. Look, there's a whole bunch of little tiny chips there that add up to the wattage that this bulb is rated at. Let's take a look at this one. Now this one's got three big chips. Three of them. This is why we had different LEDs in our test fixture. All those chips. Here's some that are designed as high power spots. They direct and concentrate the light in one direction, providing light that's unnoticeably different from CFL or incandescence. And here you can see them side by side, really no difference between a 26 watt CFL and a 6 watt LED. Here's the LED spot in place of the CFL spot just shown side by side. And here's two 10 watt LEDs that are as bright as 50 watt halogens. Okay, but the best part is seen here. All these spider webs and all that goo is as a result of bugs. You can see the result of years of bug activity here on this pole light. So why don't you eliminate all this nastiness? You've seen the options, and all of these LED bulbs will definitely reduce bugs, and all will pay for themselves in energy savings. Some in as soon as one season. So get bugless now. It's easy. Just replace the bulbs in your outdoor fixtures. Like the ones on your garage. Or the ones on your back door. Up the mess and stop wasting electricity. Spend a few bucks. Replace those energy wasting bulbs in your outdoor fixtures with the new LED versions. 
that will reduce all those annoying bugs. If you can't find them locally, get them at getgreentv.com. And while you're there, check out the other movies, links, and info on LED lighting.